Hey Youbers, Happy New Year! Um, well, what did you get up to? Mine was pretty non-eventful. I went out um, uh, into town, um, me and Eric and his cousin, and we um, went and had a meal, and um, then we went to a bar, and uh, yep, saw the New Year in, and then basically that was it. We went home. Uh, I was in bed by 2 o'clock, so you know, really it's just another day, isn't it? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, whatever. It's very non-eventful and um, actually I haven't been out in town on a New Year's for at least, I don't know, three, four years. Uh, you know, when you get to that age where you just get over it. Okay, so what am I going to be up to, what am I going to be doing now, um, now that it's 2011? Well, I'm psyching myself up because I've got uh, my course coming up, uh, beginning of March. Um, registration opens at the end of this month. Um, and, you know, a lot of you guys have uh, basically gone to my website and registered your interests. And I've had, I don't know, 60, 60 or so people register their interests, which is just amazing. Um, and exciting all at once and scary. But, um, hey... That's it. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Um, also, um, I've been selling quite a few magnets. Um, also on my site, I don't know, I'm just going to show you the magnets that I'm selling. Um, these are fridge magnets. They're really high quality. Really nice. Um, they just come like that. So I'm selling three. I'm selling um, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, as a set on uh, on my website and you can see it in the shop under fridge magnets and um, yep yeah, they're really cool um, I've just ordered another lot as well uh, the previous lot that I had up there were some of my well different works as well and um, yeah they pretty much all sold this is the only ones I've got left of that so I've ordered some more of those but um, yeah if you want some of my work and um, yeah, you want to get some inspiration and look at it on the fridge, then um, by all means, check out um, check out the magnets. My little shameless plug. No. Uh, what I've done is, uh, the other day, I quickly finished up my uh, assemblage that I'd started with uh, Greg Hansen, who's an awesome assemblage artist. Uh, we started this collaboration, I don't know, it must have been mid last year. And um, Greg was really quick in uh, getting his done. Basically what we did was we both started a box. Um, and um, I'm just going to show you the one that I got. Now I designed the, the exterior of the box. Then I sent it to Greg. And Greg uh, basically designed the interior. Which is fantastic. Um, and um, basically the same thing happened with, with, with the box. He sent me a box. And um, I've designed the interior, and I'm about to send it back to him so he can design the exterior. Although I sort of started the exterior as well. Um, what I did is I basically added this circle, this portal, and a couple of things down the bottom, which he can change. I mean, it's up to him. But yeah, I haven't glued it together yet. But um, basically, that's what I've put inside. Um, yeah, I don't know how well you can see it, but... Um, I'll show you properly in uh, when I make a proper, a proper, a proper, proper assemblage video of how I put this together. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, and um, yeah, <laughs> I know Greg's going. Yeah, finally he got his act together and got it finished. Well, you know, actually the one that I had created before got wet in the flood downstairs because um, in December I had a bit of a well, the studio was covered in water because one of the pipes burst because of the sudden temperature change and. Basically, I lost uh, a lot of works on paper, and that happened to be open on the table with uh, other stuff in there, and um, basically the water made all the inks run. So I had to redesign it, and that's what I came up with, and um, I am really happy about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be uh, making a few more assemblage boxes uh, coming up. I'm sort of in the mood to do that, as well as start some paintings. The first thing I'm going to be doing is actually a portrait of, uh, of another YouTuber who um, I really respect and admire. Um, he has a fantastic personality, he's got a great sense of humour, and his character is just wonderful. He's just really refreshing. Aaron Marino, um, he basically takes 
men's clothes and he gives fashion advice. Uh, he has lots of good wisdom and stuff like that and he isn't too bad on the eyes as well. So um, I approached him sometime the end of last year and said, hey Aaron, I'd love to do a, I want to do a portrait of you. I, I've contacted Alla, other uh, YouTube, art, well YouTube, uh, YouTubers that are quite, you know, sort of known. Um, and uh, most of the time I haven't received a response back, like obviously, you know, uh, I don't know why they didn't want a portrait. Maybe they thought there was something more in it, but it wasn't. It was just because I admired them and I just wanted to create a portrait as basically like a thank you and a, you know, sort of thing. It wasn't, it wasn't anything about, you know, trying to uh, win over their subscribers or stuff like that. It, that's not the intention of it. It's just for me to sort of do people that I admire. But yeah, Aaron contacted me back straight away. I was like amazed. And he goes, yeah, I'd love to. You know, really cool. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. And, you know, I was like, wow, excellent. So that's coming up. I'm going to be starting on that um, this coming week, actually. Um, I'm going to be um, searching for some photos and um, coming up with, uh, with a portrait. Other than that, um, I don't really have anything to say. I just want to, well, I do. I just want to quickly mention about the video. Um, the, <laughs> the New Year's video, the wig one, um, <laughs> cause I was reading some of the comments. Yeah, weird. <laughs> well, you know, when you're home, like I said, when you're home alone and you've got nothing better to do than, you know, you know, I really, life is too diverse and too, I don't know, unique and Sometimes, as an artist, you want to express yourself in different ways. And the reason, I guess the main reason I dress up and be silly is basically to remind myself to stay young at heart, to laugh at myself and just, you know, enjoy where I am. And, um, you know, that's, that's the main reason I do it, is just to, and to make, to make you guys laugh. Um, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm weird. Anyway, why am I saying that? Because, you know, I don't care if I am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for your comments. I uh, really appreciate it. I got a good cackle out of it, uh, making some of you laugh really hard. I, I know I had fun. Um, but um, yeah, that's it. All right. Have a great week coming up. Uh, and definitely my videos will be increasing in numbers now. Uh, I've got a couple of techniques that I want to test out on you guys. Um, and, um, well, I want to show you guys, not just test out, but show, and, um, hopefully you'll get some inspiration from that. All right, I'm not talking anymore. I'm going. All right, guys. Later.